Well, I hope everybody got a chance to enjoy some of that mild air and sunshine this weekend. We've got more opportunities the next couple of days, but of course uh, it's the work and school week and we're not done with our warmest temperatures yet. Uh, lots of sunshine, of course, that's been remarkable for the last week, but our high pressure ridge has kind of drifted off to the east now. Doesn't mean we'll see less sunshine just yet tomorrow and Tuesday, uh, but changes taking foot. And we've got this big spin here in the Pacific. This is a water vapor loop. A little piece of energy is going to spin around the outside of that, come out over the Rockies and uh, develop into a, a bit of a system for us on Wednesday with showers and still the chance of some thunder as it opens up some moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. So midweek, some rain. Other than that, though, we'll have uh, quite a remarkable amount of sunshine and mild temperatures again. So highs tomorrow, well into the 50s. Once again, it will be a little touch cooler, I think, than today and what Tuesday will be. But plenty of sunshine, just a few high clouds out there. And then heading into Tuesday, this is going to be the peak of our warmth. Still looks like that. Still well into the 60s and an outside shot at 70, especially in western and southwestern Minnesota. Uh, at least least mid 60s here touch cooler up into the arrowhead where they still of course have snow and they always avoid the warmth here this early in the season but that's going to set us up as those roaring south winds on tuesday get going for that system uh, to uh, give us that chance of some showers and thunder because look at wednesday evening 30 degree temperature spread across the state near 60 in southeastern minnesota and just 30s in the uh, northern and western part of the state that combined with higher dew points and that cold front uh, will produce potentially at least a little thunder around here. So these are the winds really uh, strong here on Tuesday, 15, 20 miles an hour straight out of the Gulf of Mexico. So that's why dew points are going to be on the rise here by the time we head into it looks like late Tuesday night, early Wednesday peak of the dew points might reach 50 for a dew point here, but you can see that moisture all the way from the south in the Gulf of Mexico. Short lived, it'll push off to the east as that colder air moves in uh, Wednesday night into Thursday. Then that focus for uh, moisture will head off into uh, Wisconsin and Michigan. But again, this is convective available potential energy. We call it CAPE, uh, basically energy available for thunderstorms. And there'll be a little sliver of it around on Wednesday. European model continues to be a little more aggressive on that chance. This is its uh, forecast for lightning uh, density, in fact gives us a little bit here, potentially late Wednesday of some uh, lightning and thunder, then maybe some severe weather further south in the middle of the week. As far as precip goes, it's going to be that uh, touch and go nature of convective precip, but the potential that some places in Wisconsin could get more, but maybe a tenth of an inch to a half inch of some rain on Wednesday. And then it is going to get cooler, but not cold when we compare it to normal. Normal high is still in the upper 30s, so we're going to be closer to that normal by the end of the week with that heat really pushing off to the east. But we're still talking about 40s here Thursday, Friday into Saturday, maybe getting close to 50 again. And in fact, this is the 10 day outlook beyond that. Still the cold air really staying closer to the North Pole and temperatures staying at or slightly above normal here in the American model. Still really giving us some mild temperatures after that cool down back into the 60s. But the same model run last night, much different. Look at the difference in temperatures from the evening model run versus this morning's. Uh, it had temperatures uh, only in the 30s for highs in that same period. So we'll see what happens beyond 10 days, but it is going to cool off regardless after these next couple of very mild days, really getting spring going to a nice jump start. 56 Monday, lots of sun. Again, a few high clouds. Tuesday, 66. Again, a few spots could hit 70. And then Wednesday, starting to cool off. We'll have those showers, maybe some rumbles of thunder, and then back towards uh, more realistic temperatures, but still above normal Thursday, Friday, Saturday.